Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Today we're going to be opening this chest to find some arrows. Now, our real goal is we're going to be leaving the Great Plateau for the first time. We're going to waste no time doing it. We're going to head right over there to a bit more of an accessible place, and then we are going to fly on down. So, um... I got some other fun stuff planned for the episode that we'll get into once we get off the plateau. Uh, but the reason I want to come over here is I got a little surprise in store. So we'll go ahead and meet back up there and we will check back in pretty soon. And perfect. So this little contraption I've got here is to teach you how physics work in Breath of the Wild. Stasis. You freeze an item and build up a bunch of damage on it and you'll be able to make it go flying. That also works with these metal crates. So it's going to be a bit risky, but I think we got everything we need to make this work here. Let's go ahead first off and make sure we got the spear out. And here is how this is going to work. We're going to do a bunch of damage to this thing. Jump on top. And then hit it with a bomb. Yep. We made a catapult, everybody. That's how we're leaving the Great Plateau. It's really, really fun. I love that thing so much. And it's just so cool um, how Breath of the Wild lets you do that within its physics engine. I remember there was this time um, where I used to be really into watching all the like fun exploits that speedrunners would do. I was never a speedrunner myself, uh, and I wouldn't really watch whole runs either, but it'd be cool to see, like, what's the crazy thing people found out about this game today, right? And uh, there was this time where someone started showing a lot of the developers, you know, all of these tricks that people pulled off, and they were like, I don't even know that was a thing. Also, yeah, I see him there. Um, but it's so cool just seeing what all is possible here. So, uh, what I want to do now is... Oh, do we have... Uh, we don't have any rusty weapons. Okay. Uh, if you have a rusty weapon, you can throw it to uh, certain Octoroks. Not these ones. <laughs> Um, and they will eat them and bring them back to you. Octo balloons are really funny, though. We'll talk about them in a little while. Uh, but, now that we're off the Great Plateau, there's something else I want to do. And I'm going to make it a bit of a fun thing for this run, just as a kind of randomizer. So, if you go in the settings, you can enable amiibo support. And I mentioned at the beginning, I have three amiibo. Um... How this is going to work is I'm going to tell you what they are right now, and I'll probably see if I can flash images of them on the screen too. Uh, so I have the Smash 4 uh, Zelda and Link Amiibo, and then I have the uh, Breath of the Wild uh, Rider Link Amiibo as well. And just once, whenever I'm doing a recording session, I'll go ahead and scan all three, and then whatever I get is whatever I get. I'm not going to save scum for any unique equipment with them. Um... So nothing to worry about with that. Uh, but if we get something cool, awesome. If we don't get anything cool throughout the entire game, that's fine too. But I figured it'd be a fun thing to kind of throw in to this experience. So why not? Uh, first up, let's go ahead and scan in uh, Rider Link. Why not? I mentioned uh, an episode or two ago that I would have loved to have done this with Wolf Link, but... Unfortunately, I don't have him. Uh, how amiibo work in this game? You'll get a bunch of random items, depending on whatever amiibo it is. And then you'll get a bigger item in a treasure chest. So, we got some fire arrows. See, nothing too big, nothing broken. Uh, we're going to scan in Zelda next. This one will give you some herbs and carrots and stuff like that. Hmm. Pumpkins, alright. And what do we got here? Anything cool? 
a knight's bow. Okay, that's pretty busted, admittedly. Um, our inventories, of course, of course it is. Uh, yeah, so I'm not going to be breaking the game with these or anything. I'm not going to save scum with them, though you definitely can do that. Um, we're just going to play them, and whatever we get is whatever we get. Come on. Bosch Cow Shrine. Hey, Mace, why'd you do a cut? Well, I'll tell you why in a minute. I got to kind of distract it. Let me, uh, let me get these guys away from me a second. You know what? We got the Knight's Bow. We got the Knight's Bow. Yeah. Hey, you. Uh, eat that. Okay. Are you kidding? Yeah, the Knight's Bow is super strong. It's like a good mid-game weapon. And we are still not doing all that much damage with it. At least not to you. Ooh, I can take his stuff. Okay. Oh, uh, but yeah, I promise. I did not get too distracted. I just lost my train of thought. Uh, we're going to catch back up as soon as I beat these guys. Okay. Alright. So the last amiibo, the one I... Uh, didn't show off scanning. What does that do? Well, uh, that one brings in uh, Epona, the horse from Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask and Twilight Princess. However, I kind of feel bad cheating in a horse right now since we haven't really shown him off yet. Uh, so we're going to do that a little bit later. For now, let's go ahead and open the Bosch Kala Shrine. Anytime we find a shrine, we're going to go ahead, uh, take it on, clear it, see what equipment we can get, and then move onward. Again, there's a lot of these things. We got about 116 to go. So, yeah, it, it'll be a while before we clear them all. The wind guides you. All the shrine names kind of give you a bit of a hint as to what they do, or what you're supposed to do in them. This one's all about paraglider travel. Open it up, find some amber. So yeah, uh, the runes that we have are more or less all the runes you're going to be getting throughout the game, and everything else is going to be... Uh, awful. <laughs> no, everything else is going to be about letting you use these tools to truly explore how the game works, right? So we'll go ahead and ride the wind over. And we have a way back over there, of course. Now, you could just go on, but if you can see it over there, there is actually another treasure chest and we're not able to reach it. Are you kidding me? Uh, so... Alright, round two. Let's go. We're gonna go over here and then go over here and open this chest. What is our reward? A soldier's claymore. <laughs> our reward is a soldier's claymore. Okay. That's a big one. Uh, but yeah, this time we're going to go up there for real. Here we are. That's the end of the shrine. Pretty quick. I like it. Not all the shrines are this short. Uh, some of them actually do take quite a while, but you'll see when we get there. Most of them are going to be kind of like this. You can clear them in like 10 minutes or less.
All right, that is the fifth shrine down. Oh, and now we're getting side quests. Strange mask rumors. Teleportation rumors. Uh, these are all EX quests. They're all the DLC ones. They will give you hints as to uh, where certain things are going to be in the world. We're not going to tackle them right now. I might make an entire episode about that, admittedly. I'm not sure yet. Um, we'll, we'll see. We're definitely going to clear them all, of course. Um, I might do them, like, one a day. There's a million ways we could go about doing that. Uh, well, let's go ahead and cross the bridge. Talk to this guy. The Usurper King, alright. Dark armor. Dog, you don't have any dark armor, but you do got a dark outlook talking about how the end is here. Xenoblade 2. I like how that didn't give it any other name. I may be somewhat used to seeing bad omens by now, but that... Well, let's just say it's better than most. We're doomed. I mean, don't panic. Sorry, who are you? Have we met? Well, it doesn't matter who you are, really. I was getting tired of talking to myself, so you've come at a good time. By the by, those strange things that popped out of the ground? Did you see them? I'm not talking about mushrooms here, dude. I'm talking about those towers. They seem to have popped up all over the place. That's not the only strange thing that happened. There's a long deserted shrine start glowing. Aww. You know what this means, don't you? The end is here. <laughs> With all this craziness happening, I've been keeping an eye on that thing. Just to see if it suddenly starts moving, you know? What thing? I'm talking about that guardian, of course. Haven't you heard the old stories about Hyrule? See that thing over there? The one shaped in an overturned urn? That's what I'm talking about. Did you know some of them can move? One of them once tried to chase me down and kill me. It wasn't this one, was it? No, it was a different one. That one was closer to the castle, but before the forest. When they spot you, they shoot blue beams of light at you. Man, I was so sure of the end for me. I was prepared for the worst. But I managed to escape into the nearby woods. You think it was my lightning fast reflexes that saved me? <laughs> I wish truth is, I just got lucky. Anyway, I hear guardians like that still wander around Hyrule Castle. Be careful out there. Yeah, that's Brigo. I think it's really funny that the first NPC we happen to run into is like a conspiracy theorist and a doomer. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see. We got a fire over here. Yeah, let's show this off. We haven't done it yet. Uh, but you can sit and pass time by the fire. This is a good way of changing time if you have, like, a quest that requires nighttime or something like that. Or you just want to, like, travel in a different set of weather or anything like that. Any fire will do, uh, even if you just make your own fire by uh, dropping wood in the flint and then striking it. That will make it work, too. So, Mace, what's the goal for today? Well, uh, I put a pin up there. Uh during the cut, but as you can see, there's a tower not too far away. We're gonna go there, and then make our way a little bit more onwards, but that's probably gonna be it for the episode. Oh, okay, okay. I know what to do. I'm about to blow your mind if you never played this game before. You ready? Oh, haha. <laughs> come on, come on, keep going. Please, let me get this chest out of the water. <sighs> Never mind. We can just open it up that way. All that for some opal. Yeah, octo balloons are fantastic. They can raise a lot of items. Uh, there's a lot of fun little gimmicks you can pull off with them. I didn't know how they worked until, like, maybe hour 200 of me playing the game. I had just never tried it before. Ooh, is this what I think it is? Throwing Spear, yeah. Uh, they are very good for long range. Um, and yeah, let's get rid of one of our clubs. We haven't cooked anything in a little bit, uh, so let's go ahead and see what we got. Okay, I think this gives us a good base of equipment to go off of for now. 
Got plenty of stuff for healing. Got some speed boosting stuff from all the rush rooms and a couple other items. Uh, what I want to show off now, though, is the Hightail Wizard. We have not made an elixir yet. I'm sorry, buddy, but if you cook um, certain other things like the wizard and monster parts, you will be able to get elixirs. What do elixirs do? Well, these are exclusively for stat bonuses. Got a hasty elixir that gives us almost six minutes of extra movement speed. Not bad. Uh, I don't think we can make any more, not from what we have, nope. Uh, but they are pretty useful. So, um, elixirs generally do not heal anything, but they have stronger effects as far as stat buffs go. Pretty nice. Uh, I haven't talked about this either yet, but right now you can see how it has just one icon by all of these uh, for the up arrow, for the uh, cold resistance uh, snowflake. That is a 10% increase. If there is another one, I believe it's 30, and then a third one makes it 50. Pretty nice. So, uh, now that we've cooked up, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next tower. Catch you at the base of it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Can I make the shot? Let's see. Oh, we made a shot. It's not the shot. There we go. All right. So you may see the item on my back, and you're probably like, hey, what the heck is that thing? Well, that's a Korok leaf. Uh, we ended up picking it up on the way here. Um, just forgot to show it off. But uh, let's go ahead take this guy's seared steak and we're just gonna leave just leave don't bother i don't want to fight you right now don't dive in link we gotta climb welcome to the dueling peaks tower not twin peaks isn't that a show i think it is i've never seen it but i i'm pretty sure that's the name of a show <laughs> all right Oh, yeah, there are two of them here. Alrighty. Walk it off, Link. I know you're tired, but... Yeah, walking it off, that's surely gonna help. Alright. Climb up. Climb up. And let's make it onto this last platform. Good one, good one. And here we go. There we are. This is the first tower we're finding out in the wild. Let's go ahead, put the Sheikah Slate in, and update our map. Tower activated. There we go. Got a gate we're probably not going to use. And let's go ahead and get that local information downloaded. Perfect. Another whole area of the map updated, and you can see just how giant this is compared to the great plateau yeah additional functionality detected the sheikah sensor this will give you a sound effect whenever you're close to a shrine that you haven't visited hmm you can disable it because that sound effect can actually be kind of annoying um but we'll keep it on for now Yep, it's that. <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad, but it will kind of bother you a little bit. Uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go uh, find the outside of that shrine. And, oh, we barely missed it. Okay. 
Uh, we're gonna go find the outside of that shrine, open her up, and then call the episode there. We're on the right path to it. Oh, rush room. I don't know why I walked by these other ones. Uh, we may as well break them open. Uh, these have some very nice gems inside of them. So where's our shrine? There's our shrine. There it is. The Ridahi Shrine. This is a really important one, actually. Uh, why? Well, you will find out next time. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you later. Have a good one.